We're back inside Wisconsin in a break with our guy, Kenny Harrison. Uh, it is top five list time. Thank you for allowing me to bring the top five list back this episode. I understand the reprieve and I got suspended. We're better. Yep. Here we go. In honor of Kenny and he's from Milwaukee, went to Brookfield, the top five favorite things about Milwaukee. So here we go, J.A. Okay. You do a couple. I'll do a couple. They may be right. They may be wrong. But nonetheless, let's well, talk the Milwaukee since, area. Okay. Well, since you're always wrong, I feel like you should go first. All right. So I'll give you my got. fifth and yeah. fourth. Then you yeah. go. All right. So number five on my list. This probably has more to do with my family than anything, but it's a super cool place. You ever been to Discovery World in Milwaukee? Probably I not. Have not. I've yet, really, yet to discover that. Yeah, you need to discover that. Discovery World Science and Technology Museum. Kids love it. Number four for me, it is uh, not even close to an honorable mention. This is on my list. It's Summerfest. Uh, I know that you've been there. It's an incredible yep. place. We yep. will hear a story. You inform me about Summerfest later in the episode. But at the end of the day, there's nothing like Summerfest, whether it's walking around and seeing all the free things. And they spread it out now mm -hmm. over a few months. They just released their lineup for this year's Summerfest. Uh, it's intense. I love and try to get Agreed. to every year a little summer fest. All right, give me five and four on your list. So here's Fair. what I, I wanted to have a sports connection to all of mine. Okay. Okay. Right. No matter how thin or veiled. So that means like going to see Samson at the Milwaukee Zoo is out. The big oh, silver back around. Great spot, though. You know? Great spot. Right. So, you know, we love that. So Mater's restaurant out, even though I love I love that. Um, the Pfizer Forum is too new. Even yeah. though thanks to Craig Carmazin and the Wisconsin Sports Roads, I was there when they opened it and did the first event there. But it's just too new. So that's not in there. Uh, the Paps Brewery, as much as I love that, and the hotel they've turned it into, um, mm -hmm. that's out. And and then that sort of – that unfortunately takes out the bronze fonts. Yeah. Uh, I have a small connection, right? I, when, I, I, when I found out they had the bronze fonts, uh, the bronze fonts, I, I – Google and bronze fonts. I'm going to find about Arthur Fonzarelli. Happy days. And I read an article and it's all about the run. And then I go up and I read the byline and it's by a kid named Steve Sharp, who was one of my best high school buddies, who was a right. great runner, um, helped win division uh, three national titles for UW Oshkosh uh, mm -hmm. when he was there. I think they won twice. So I'm like, okay, well that has a very thin, but it's got a sports connection. And so we got my boy Sharpie, the great runner on it. Uh, but unfortunately, the bronze fonts is up. So, a quick shout out to my friends uh, Darren and Ian down in Janesville. This is the first time Happy Days has been mentioned on Inside Wisconsin. All right, go ahead. There we go. Uh, so number five is it's it's the new ballpark at Miller Park. Okay, yeah. uh, which is now American Family Field. Yeah. But uh, I was fortunate enough; I got to throw out a first pitch at a Brewer That's game. Awesome. Like I said, at the time, Miller Park now American Family. But I just uh, so that that goes on my list. I went and I stood on the grass in front because they had raked the mound. I didn't want to mess it up. But my son at the time, mm -hmm. who was three, just went running right up the mound and he just stood right on the on the rubber <laughs> as I was as I was throwing the pitch. So that was uh, that was fantastic. All right. Number four, also a great sports arena, is the Mecca. Yeah, the old okay? Mecca. The great floor. But here's here's why, and I'm surprised the Mecca could it could easily be number one. Saw my first Bucks game there. Saw Dr. J in that first Bucks game play there. Yeah. 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 And I also, in ninth grade, we went to the cultural fair there for my French class with Mr. Feldhausen. And uh, I, I kissed my first girl there. Uh, in wow. the uh, Yeah. And there was some cultural, whatever display was going it's on. We were watching some show and the lights went out. And the next thing you know, Giddy up. I'd kissed a girl and I liked it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so between, between the Bucks, Dr. J, and Lisa Zoll, love Lisa. Great. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, it, listen, by the way, that ended well. I went to her wedding when she and George got married. They live, oh, they live in Des Moines now, four or five lovely children. She was, yeah, great. Uh, you know, shout out to all the wonderful St. Joe's girls in the world. <laughs> but, yeah, so the Mecca's at number four for a variety right, of it. reasons. They could also, could easily boost it to number one. All right, here are my three and two. Then we'll go to your three and two and we'll share our yeah. number ones. Number three, you just mentioned it. Uh, American Family Field is clearly a place, but I love tailgating at a brewers game okay. like this is my top favorite top three favorite things in milwaukee we sat in line for the playoff game last year to tailgate in mm -hmm. american family fields parking lot there's nothing like it tailgating at a brewers game number two 
I just love the words Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've always taken pride in that as a Wisconsinite, as a Wisconsin Statriot. Every time you hear a Miller spot, including on this show, yep. it ends with Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Absolutely love that Miller is home there in Milwaukee. Three and two, go. Good. All the commercials. And I am, uh, my yeah. buddies and I to this day, some of them, in fact, one of my best friends, uh, a fellow that lives in uh, Dublin, Ohio, now Columbus. Uh, whenever we get together, we go get Miller High Life to champagne and beers. We don't even. Bonjour, Milwaukee. Yeah, we're, we're already in there. Uh, number three for me is the Fister Hotel, uh, which is fantastic. It's haunted for one thing. Totally. Uh, so the, that, pardon me? Totally haunted. 100% totally haunted. haunted. Totally. That yep. should be it. We should get somebody on for the Fister, just to, you know, a little slice of cheese <laughs> about how that place is haunted. Uh, but that's where the visiting teams, yes. I don't know if they do anymore, but always used to stay. And so my dad and I, for my birthday, we'd always go down to a brewer game for my birthday, as close as it could be there in May. And we'd go down on a Friday, get a night game, get a Saturday day game or come home or a Saturday night game. And so we'd see two. We got to stay over. And one time he really treated we got to stay at the Fister. All right. Number two two needs no explanation. Milwaukee Country Club. Bucci Anderson on the first tee. Done. That's awesome. If you haven't, you should. And if I could do it again tomorrow, I don't care how bad my hand is, I'd do it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Two, you, had, you, you had some stories from the Walkie Country Club. That's pretty cool. All right, they number one on my list. They had a goblet of cheese, man. They had a goblet of cheese at the turn. That's impressive. A yeah. goblet of cheese. All right. Hey, um, I'm encouraged right now because I have, I think that you and I might have the same number one. We're right together on this. There's, there's I, no we, question we're on this. Oh, this is the first time. Round of applause. The same number one. My favorite thing about Milwaukee is Bob Euchre. We do not have the same thing. Son of a bitch. It's, no. well, for mine, by far, it's Bob Euchre. And nothing else, unless you mention something that I apparently misplaced in my head. Uh, that is by far my number one favorite thing. Uh, on Twitter the other day, somebody, it was Mike Vasallo from the Brewers. He, he posted something about Bob, and I got all nervous because I was like, oh, no. I'm mm-hmm. dreading the day we are no longer with Bob Euchre. He's no longer with us. It's not even close. My number one is Bob Euchre. So you I messed would, up. I would you tell you up. that I am Bob Euchre adjacent on this and that mm-hmm. I went strictly for places in Milwaukee. Okay. Right. So Euchre does not come into my mind because I am thinking places, whether it's the county zoo, whether it's Mater's, <clears throat> whether it's the Fister, or number one, County Stadium. Okay, the original, sure. All right. So the original County Stadium's number We're one close. near and dear to my heart. Saw Brewer games there. Saw great Brewer teams there. Saw not so good te- teams. I saw George the Boomer Scott hit home runs there. I saw Hank Aaron hit a home run there. I saw Cecil Cooper hit home runs there. I might have seen uh, um, John Jaha hit a home, <laughs> Jaha hit a home Johnny run. Johnny Jaha. Anyway, so uh, so that and so in that case, because Euchre is so much a part of that, that's why I thought, okay, we're thinking County right. Stadium. We're very much on the same page we here. Are. Yeah, you 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 you're going with a you know the person. I'm going with the place. I think together. But you used to go up and and you know to see that big stadium, which at the time you know now they're all palaces, but. With the with the the keg guy there, the big circle with the yeah, keg guy the making barrel. the swing, the barrel man. Um, but I have this caveat about my county stadium that's my favorite. Um, my county stadium, the favorite, still has uh, Bernie Brewer's little chalet and the beer mug in center field. Yeah, when they yep. got rid of that. Uh, really had a hard time with it. I don't know why they decided that and just put speakers out there. But number one for me. County Stadium, but with Bernie Chalet and the big beer stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember it like yesterday. And yeah. we'll end with this, John. This thing, I fell in love with this microphone at County Stadium when Bob Betts. Robin Yount, 19. Yount. Nothing like it before a Brewers game at County Stadium. All right, there it is. Our top five favorite things about Milwaukee. Damn it, I thought we had the same number one. Right. Number one could be Kenny Harrison, by the way. Should be. Thank you.